Well, the battle of Judy Bellingham looks like it's going to come to an end and obviously Man City, Arsenal, Manchester United, Liverpool pulled out early before all this simulation came in through. But it looks like Manchester Madrid is really wanting to get this man and his entire talent to the city of Spain. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where you and where you're watching us from? Welcome to the Transfer News Show. It's a big story broken by Fabricio Romano, quoting the marker, and it's Yao, I think Fedelix was gonna hate to break it also and added more beef to it. Man City are still complaining that they and they haven't given up on the player but it looks like judy bellingham has made a decision that he's going to play for real madrid next season welcome to this channel smash the like button comment and share rock and david is my name and don't forget to subscribe because we want to hit 14,000 subscribers onto this channel before this month comes to an end all that <coughs> After we are done with it, we are going to talk a little bit about Lionel Messi, a player that has been suspended, but reasons have been given as to why the friendship between PSG and Lionel Messi have gone ahead to break apart. So, let's get off with the story that Fabrizio Romano reported about Borussia Dortmund's young talent known as Judy Bellingham. Fabrizio Romano, Real Madrid are close to complete deal to sign Judy Bellingham. Confirmed, negotiations are progressing to the final stages. Personal terms are also agreed. June Calfat, crucial again. New meeting has been scheduled to complete the agreement with, Bayern, with Borussia Dortmund. So it shows you that if there is anyone trying to say that, this deal is not going in favor of Real Madrid, then that person is really one of the naive people I've seen in. I've seen in the game of football because we all knew that Liverpool was leading the rest. <laughs> That's it. Liverpool were leading the rest of Judy Bellingham to sign him, but because things never went the way they wanted and they found themselves not in position to really qualify for the Champions League, they said, I think it's better we pulled out of this deal or rest early enough because they knew that by the time they confirmed that they've gone ahead to qualify for the Champions League, Real Madrid would have gone hold already to go past them or Man City to convince this player to come on and be the sign for the for the masses hide best team that is liverpool and then fabricio romano has also gone ahead to add on more quotations um from the marker and <clears throat> he affirmed that rio madrid hope to finalize judy bellingham deal already this month as they did with chomini in order to avoid any late u-turn real madrid feel agreement on personal terms is almost reached as as Jose Felix Diaz of the marker called after Juni Calvert multiple meetings with players camp. Now, who is Juni Calvert? Juni Calvert is really one of those scouts of Real Madrid that's gone ahead to scout very many players for Real Madrid. And the moment he really went in and really put his boots into this deal, I think the player felt like it's the right time and the right move to make to go to Real Madrid. And him being 19 and making 20 this year, that takes us to the reason as to why has chosen Real Madrid. You know, I think he has used what we call the Casemiro, the Casemiro scenario as a blueprint or a yardstick to decide on whether he's going to be playing next season. One. One. Casemiro came from Real Madrid, you know, at the age of 30 and is firing all cylinders in the Premier League. <laughs> That's it. So, it comes to my mind that they've gone ahead to really tell him that that is Johnny Calvert, that you can be like Casemiro. You are 20 years of age. Even if you come here and give us five seasons, you know, you can <clears throat> meet your dreams, all your fantasies of playing in the Premier League and shining it up. And if I told you are <clears throat> Judy Bellingham, you will understand that there are very many chances of really thriving in the La Liga than in the Premier League because of the competitiveness of the Premier League. You'll be facing almost just three huge teams in the season. That is Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, and maybe Sevilla. Though it has gone ahead to capitulate this season, but I think next season Sevilla is going to be back on the road. So, not like into the Premier League where every match you play is going to be like a finale. So, I think he still has a lot of factors on his side, especially age. 
Edge is still on Jude Bellingham's side and no one can really rush him into a deal that <clears throat> comes to the Premier League. I think he was sold to a move to only come in and play for Liverpool, but feels like Man City is not a team for him. Now, <clears throat> the EBL... The EBL 2017 has told us that Judy Bellingham will become the sixth English man ever to play for Real Madrid after Lowry, Cunningham, Steve McManaman, David Beckham, Mike Owen, and Jonathan Hoodgate. It is an achievement for monumental proportions. That is Judy Bellingham for you. So if at all he happens to play for Real Madrid, he'll be the sixth English man to ever play all wear that all white jersey for a team of for a team of Real Madrid. Now, after Fabrizio Romano broke that story, then drama started. How did it start? <clears throat> Santi Anoma, he's one of the credible journalists I've known. He broke the story of uh, Casemiro to Manchester United. And he said, Man City offered more money for Judy Bellingham, but the midfielder has chosen Real Madrid. <laughs> That's it. So that means Judy Bellingham has gone ahead to choose Real Madrid over Man City. But Man City... <clears throat> unseated a story has come in through and obviously man city are trying to defend themselves through mm, it's coming in from uh fabricio romano has also told us that man city also feel the same on judy bellingham deal real madrid are the clear favorites bellingham the player is now convinced by real madrid long project after meetings with june calavert up to Real Madrid and Dortmund now. So, Man City are not trying to really give up that they've lost the loss or they've lost the battle. They want to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing to see it that they convince the young one to go on and really play for their side. But as it looks, looks like Man City are losing this battle. And I know what it means to Man City. You know, you can't compete with teams like Real Madrid. I think the only teams that could compete with Real Madrid in the English Premier League were Manchester United and <clears throat> Liverpool because they are traditional clubs like, Ma like Real Madrid and they hold almost the same history with Real Madrid and they've always tried to move in the same... And they've always tried to move with the same... <clears throat> And they've always tried to move with the same level of achievements. In there, for you, the Real Madrid listeners are going to hate to win close to four out of the six Champions League trophies. But Manchester United and, and, uh, and Liverpool are more sounding than Man City. I know it's a shame to Man City. They are really working a lot to see to it that they make their club attractive. But it shows you that money can't buy class. Class is really one of those things that you work for and man city need to really dominate this game of football for very many years to start to sit on what we call the table of men that's it so that's it for team known as man city as for now now what does it mean for <clears throat> judy bellingham i think he's not driven by money i remember when he's coming in from birmingham to really go to Borussia dortmund manchester united offered a lot of money huge salary handsome to judy bellingham and bellingham said no to that salary so it shows you that he's not money-minded and man city have once fallen victims of <clears throat> paying huge monies to judy bellingham and bellingham has let them down and to me it all it all trains down to him wanting to go to liverpool i think by the time he leaves real madrid he thinks he'll go to liverpool but it will depend but the sporting director of, of Madrid is doing a very brilliant job and is going to hold a meeting with <coughs> Borussia Dortmund this week to see where this player is really going to be going this summer. So, let's wait and see if at all they can raise 150 million euros, then they'll take the player. And I think for Man City, keeping on their foot on the pay door just gifts uh, Borussia Dortmund a chance to really to really milk out more money you know madrid can no longer say that they can't pay 150 million euros for the player known as judy bellingham do you know why there is there is a rich team you know waiting in the corner and they've already gone ahead to do a deal with man city <clears throat> you get on um i think on a kanji and on uh, Aring Haaland. do you understand so 
and they've already sold their Jordan Sancho. So <clears throat> to Borussia Dortmund, they might be having a very good working relationship and if at all Madrid cannot raise that money, then Man City will come in and obviously enjoy the battle. Man United can only go in for Judy Bellingham if at all. Sheikh Jassim Althani is given the club. That's it. So let's wait and see what's going to happen with that deal and let's jo let's jog on to the League One team known as PSG and Lionel Messi. Yesterday I brought you a story that Messi really has been given a fine of two weeks because of going to Saudi Arabia when he was not given permission that is <clears throat> that is Lionel Messi for you so Fabrizio Romano has told us that Messi will leave PSG at the end of the season there are no doubts about that anymore behind the scenes it's now understood that Lionel Messi's father George Messi communicated the decision to PSG already one month ago due to the project it was the final breaking point so Messi and uh, and PSG have already broken apart. That's it. They are no longer in good terms. And I think PSG taking this, they are just trying to paint to paint uh, Messi's image badly. Do you know why? Because they want him to leave and not have a say that the club cannot hold stars or Galacticos. That's it. So, he wants... PSG wants to keep their name intact, that they are a team that really keeps stars, but it's all known that he doesn't want to be here and is leaving. That's it. And he might leave for Barcelona or leave for Al Nasser. No. Is it Al Nasser? There is another team. There is another team in Saudi Arabia that really wants Lionel Messi that rivals Al Nasser where Cristiano Ronaldo plays for. So now, your thoughts on to Bellingham to Madrid. 90% loading, you know, are welcome in the comment section below. What do you think about Man City? Can they hijack this deal? That's another huge question that you have to go on and really reply to. And lastly, what do you think about a player called huh? Lionel Messi? Do you think PSG are trying to taunt or to taint his image? All not. I sign up for now. See you later. Second video of the day. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss that on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I'm out. Have a great evening as we jog into the game of Man City versus West Ham away in London. But Nathan Ake has traveled with the team of Man City there. Kevin De Bruyne has not been seen there, meaning that he's so early to see him play for Man City very, very soon. So, I know Arsenal fans all over the world would want this to go in the favor of West Ham, but it will require West Ham to pull out what we call energy and performance. They've never gone ahead to pull out me out.